everyone, my name is Autumn Carolyn and I am going to talk to you today about how to write a book, what to do, how to start the process, how to go through it, how to publish it and market it, and then what happens after the publication process. The reason why I wanted to make this video is because I wish that I would have watched a video like this when I was going through the process, especially for a memoir type of book, but I had a really hard time with learning more about the memoir travel section. So I kind of wanted to create something for people to get ideas and pointers from, and maybe that will help them. So the first thing I wanna talk about is I wanna talk about writing. I would recommend starting with a sheet of paper and thinking about an idea that you may have been thinking about for a while and write down the main goals that you want the book to show and represent. Think about the characters, the tragedies that happen, the triumphs that happen, the main nuggets that you want people to come out of reading the book and remember the book for. For example, for my travel memoir, I kind of went through all my past memories and I thought of the stories that kind of shaped me into who I am today. And I wrote them down in a list and I, I did it in chronological order. So that's kind of how I started with writing it. I also put a goal that I had in mind. So for me, my goal was that I always wanted someone to finish reading my book and for them to feel like they could be able to travel themselves, like they can feel confident in traveling and feel that push to do something that's out of their comfort zone and be thinking that they can do it. That was my main goal when writing Traveling in Wonder. The second thing I wanted to mention was that you don't have to have a title first. You can, it can come to you as you're writing. I knew that I wanted my book to be called Traveling in Wonder because I've been using the phrase traveling in wonder, twirling in grace since I was like 19, 18. So traveling in wonder, twirling in grace has always been something that's been really like precious and important to me. So when I wrote this book, I instantly knew it was gonna be traveling in wonder just because I had always had that phrase in my heart. For other people though, it can be completely different. If you're doing a research book that's about something that you are really well versed and knowledgeable on, maybe that will come to you as you're in the middle of doing your research. Or maybe you're writing a fantasy book and you're thinking about characters. Maybe it's coming to you when you're thinking of synopsis for that. I think not putting pressure on yourself to have a title is really important. The third thing that I wanted to mention was it's a hard balance between prepping for the book and getting everything ready and actually writing the book. Writing the book is the most important part of the whole process because if you didn't write it, you wouldn't have a book to share. I would recommend really writing as much as you can. Even if it's something silly, write it down, put it in a Word document, write it in a journal, keep something with you at all times that when there is a spark or a moment where you're thinking, oh, I should put that in a book, keep it handy. Use your notes app on your cell phone. There are multiple things that you can do to start keeping track of the main points that you wanna put in your book. And honestly, sometimes they'll come to you at really random times, but being able to have something with you to write it down and keep that thought is gonna be really important. When you're writing, I would recommend going through a before, a during, and an after sequence. Now, I have not written fiction. I don't know how fiction writers write because I've never written a fiction book before. This is honestly what I did for my travel memoir, but it could be completely different. Maybe some people start writing and as they're writing, ideas just come and they have this before, during, and after and they completely go haywire and they don't go according to what they have originally. I personally liked having a before, during, and after layout because I was able to know and list the lessons that I had learned throughout each travel, which I highlight in each of the different chapters that I have. 
when you go through and you have a structure, it makes it so much easier, at least it did for me, because I could stay on track. I knew that I had a goal to reach for every chapter. So that's kind of the writing portion that I would recommend about doing that. Also, I would highly recommend using Word documents on Google Drive. You would not believe the amount of times that I have been somewhere, had a computer with me, was able to sign into Google Drive and just write and write and write as much as I possibly could. And that was so helpful. I didn't have a structure where every day at 5 p.m. I wrote at the same time. And some people could do that and that could work for them. But for me, I kind of have like a spontaneous lifestyle so it's a lot easier for me to go with the flow and to write when I possibly can. Those are the main points that I really wanted to talk about writing because I wanted to share with you the way that I did it. I hope that you have enjoyed the writing portion and the next portion that I want to speak about when you're done writing the book what to do next. So keep watching if you are working through it and you want to know, okay, I have my first rough draft. What do I do? And I'll see you there.